Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Programming Knowledge. And this is the third video on how to create mobile responsive website using Bootstrap. So in the previous tutorial, we have added the menus and the must head for our website. So if we try to preview our website in our browser, we can see that we have the nice looking website or basic website that is responsive. So if we try to resize our window, we can see that our layout would re respond to the size of our browser window. So if you try to click on this hamburger icon, the menus will be hidden. And if you try to click on this hamburger icon, the menus will be shown. So in this particular tutorial, we will be working on with this index.html file. And we will be adding the other components of our website. So let's go ahead and head back to our code editor and add some elements to this particular code. So we have here the about section of our page. Let's add a section. And this particular section or section will have the class of page section. And we have the background primary. And of course, the ID of this section will be the about. So again, this will be the target for our menus because we set the target of our about section into the ID of about, which is our section or the ID of our section. Okay. And inside here, we will be adding a new div with the class container. And in here, we need to define another div with uh, a class row and justify content center. And another div that will hold our column. So that will be column large 8. And of course, the text will be center or aligned at the center of our division. And the next one will be, we will be adding the h2 tag. And inside this, we have to, we need to type in the, we have got what we need. And this should have a class for transforming or making the text into white. And of course, we need to set the margin of uh, margin of the top into zero. And then right below this, we need to add a horizontal rule or HR with a class divider uh, light, and then set the margin of top and bottom into size four. And then below this line, we need to add a paragraph class or paragraph element with class x y fifty and mb four. And inside this paragraph, we need to type in programming knowledge as everything you need to get you started. Browse our awesome collection of video tutorials. Next, we need to add a button for this. So let's use a link with the target as the services section of our page. So this particular element or link element has the class of BTN, BTN Lite, and BTN XL, and of course the JS scroll trigger for our button. And then of course this will have the get started text, get started, and then whenever we click on this button, it should uh, scroll to the services section of our page. 
Okay, so uh, let's try to review our page. Let's go back to our browser. Refresh our page. So try to uh, scroll down. We have this another uh, section, which is the about section of our page. So let's add another section, which is the services section of the website. So let's go back to our editor and inside here we need to add another section of course this section will have the classes of page section and of course the id of this again will be services okay then again the div for our container and h2 for the text at your service. Anyway, you can always put your text here, but in my case, I have to stick with the at your service because this is the service section of the page or the website that I'm trying to create. So the H2 class says will be text center, and we have margin at the top is zero and define an HR here with class divider okay and we have setting the margin of top and bottom size for another div for our row and another div that will hold the column which is column large 3, column medium 6, and the center or the, the text should be aligned at the center of this particular div. And inside this, we have to set another division with uh, MT5 as the class and I element with class FA which is stands for our font awesome icon and we need to set the size or increase the size of our icon four times so FA and then 4x FA the, the icon is gem and of course this will have a color for our text as primary and margin bottom equals four or the size is four and it needs to have this h3 element with class h4 mb-2 it should have the text rare videos and below this is the paragraph with class text muted and mb0 and high quality video tutorials okay high quality video tutorials for free save our file index.html and let's go back to our browser so let's just try to refresh this and we have another section at your service so it has this nice looking icon gem with rare videos at the, as the text and we also have this nice description of this item but I think we need to add more items to this services section because at the original site we have I think four different items in this particular section we have already added the first element or the first item we just have to duplicate it so all we have to do is copy this section so copy this element or item and then paste for the second item third and fourth item and we also need to change the text this or 
flex of this into up to date and of course the text will be or the description is all new technology 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 we got you covered and next is ready to share the description is you can share our our videos for free the last one will be instead of rare videos it has to be made with love and of course the description is we poured our hearts into this tutorial okay and of course we need to change the icons for this so instead of gem it has to be the laptop code for this and then the next one will be instead of the gem it should be glow icon and of course the last one is the heart icon let's try to save our file and refresh our page so refresh and then we have the items that we have added we have the up-to-date we have ready to share and we have the last one which is the made with love and with all the descriptions under it so as you can see we have a responsive items for this section so if you try to resize the window it will be or the, the items will reflect the changes that we have made in the size of our window okay so i think that's all there is to it for this tutorial so in the succeeding tutorials we will be adding the other sections such as the portfolio section and also the call to action section and contact section of our page Thanks.